I know, shrimp. Hi. You pigeon cat? Shrimp has been settling in very nicely. She actually just got fixed, so she does have to wear a cone, but we took it off so she can eat her dinner. But she's happy. You can tell because this cat wags her tail when she's happy. <laughs> Hi, Bobo. Oh, they're doing so well. So I got my new shipment of my wooden charms. So I have to prep all of them because they don't come done. Basically, I just get the wooden charms and then I have to glue them all individually and put the little magnets on the back. Spent quite a fair amount of time doing this because there were a lot of them. <laughs> So I have hardly been vlogging all week. I am so exhausted just from work and just, I don't know, I think I'm just really tired. So I think it is, wait, what day is it? It's Wednesday. <laughs> this week has been so long. I have been having a horrible sleeping schedule just because I haven't been really sleeping well. Um, Bosley has been having a lot of health issues and stuff like that, so he hasn't been having very good nights, which means I don't have very good nights because he's the love of my life and I'm just so worried about him. My evenings have kind of consisted of just lazing around and doing a little bit of sketching uh, here and there, and yeah, preparing these little guinea pig magnets and stuff like that. But the other really cool thing is, is that I got this new camera. Uh, I don't know if it looks any different to you, but it's super different for me because the camera I was using before was my boyfriend's camera. And while an amazing piece of equipment, and actually I think four times as expensive as this one, the problem with that camera is that I couldn't see myself in it. So that's why a lot of my shots in the past have been really bad sometimes. Like I'm as out of frame or it's like blurry and stuff like that. But I spoiled myself on Black Friday and I got this new Canon EOS M50 camera that everyone talks about. And while a much cheaper camera compared to the expensive one, it is so much better for vlogging already. I can already tell. And just a tip for anybody who's interested in vlogging, definitely invest in a camera with a flip-out screen. Uh, it makes it so much easier. <sighs> um, but yeah, I think I'm going to just continue taking it a bit easy. Uh, I am planning to do some crafting finally on the weekend. I haven't done any crafting in a while and I think it'll be really fun to do some polymer clay pin stuff so we will see if I get to that. Uh, but yeah, Wednesday evening. <laughs>
So I've been thinking a lot about what my strategy is going to be in the next year because it's December now, which means that uh, January is just around the corner. And I just keep thinking about, you know, I just came out with that Instagram algorithm video and I've just been thinking a lot about how to basically grow my brand in the next year. And, and I think I need to start focusing on other social media platforms. Cause like, as, as great as Instagram has been for me in getting to where I am right now, it just isn't giving me that organic growth that I'm looking for that I think other platforms would have. So for example, like, sorry, Bosley's, Bosley's super excited and just running around right now. I'm just thinking about, I think I really need to start focusing on YouTube and prioritizing that over Instagram. And then the other thing I think I might start trying to do is try TikTok. And I'm like super hesitant about trying TikTok because one, I feel way too old to be using TikTok. And but two, it's just, it's just another social media platform to be balancing, right? But I feel like if I really want my, my brand and my business to have a chance, I need to utilize every platform available to me to give it the best chance it has. So by only using Instagram, I'm only reaching one audience. And if I wanna reach more people, I need to put in the effort to try to reach more people. So I think what that means is I think I'm gonna try to focus more on YouTube next year and trying out the TikTok. What are you doing? I think he's doing his post poop laps right now. Um, anyway, I guess what I'm saying is I've just been thinking a lot about what I'm gonna be doing next year. And I think really the goal is going to be trying to focus on these other social media platforms to see if I can get a more organic growth in the coming year. Because if you watch my Instagram algorithm video, you need to be so committed to that platform and post constantly. And the growth just hasn't been as organic as I've wanted it to be. And I've been focusing on that for the past year. And yeah, just, just some thoughts. <laughs> Thank you.
So I realized that I'm wearing the same thing in all of my vlogs because I'm just working from home these days and yeah, I, I keep wearing the same sweater. But it's a different day, I swear. But I realized that we have these bananas that have been sitting in the kitchen for like almost a week now and I know Matias has been wanting me to do something with them. Uh, so I think it's time to make some banana bread. <laughs> All right, these super old bananas need to uh, become something. It smells so strongly of bananas. I just had this thought when I was making them. Like, when I had guinea pigs, they loved bananas, and every time they smelled a banana, they would freak out. And I don't know, it kind of makes me miss having them, like squeaking and all the cuteness, but yeah. Probably never gonna have guinea pigs again, but I can have the fond memories. Hey, you want banana bread finally? Yes. It's hot. Wow. Wow. I finally did it. <laughs> Those black bananas have now become banana bread. Mm. You just ate a walnut. That wasn't it. <laughs> well, it was covered in peanut bread. Peanut bread? Hmm. That's banana bread. <laughs> you see what it looks like? It looks good, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, I want some. Good morning, shrimp butt. Would you like some tea? Actually, so before getting to all the play stuff, I need to start prepping the files for editing. So I usually convert them into this kind of proxy format so that my computer can handle editing them faster. Um, but that takes time and a little bit of planning. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all that stuff first. So prepping all the files for editing. And then also while that's going, I'm also gonna start making the Patreon rewards as well because I actually got them done early for once and I want to send them out as soon as possible. Hopefully the prints look good. Um, I did like a quick color test print last night and the colors look pretty good. I don't know if you can see this, but there's gonna be like a bird version. No. Uh, so there's gonna be like two sets. So there's going to be a version with little pigeons and then a version with uh, little robins. So uh, the Patreon rewards this time will have two sets of planner stickers, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, but gonna print those out um, and then start printing and cutting. Printing and cutting. Cutting them early. I think it's gonna take kind of a long time for them to cut because it's gonna be like a lot of stickers on there. It's gonna be a busy day. We got a lot of stuff to do. Also need to edit this video to maybe go out tomorrow, but yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> I was going to do some plumber clay stuff today, but now I'm thinking that I should finish just packing all the Patreon rewards and stuff like that so I can just have them done. Because that would be really cool to have just done already. I still need to do the Piggy Pack ones, um, which are available on my website. Right now I'm trying to film a reel actually for making these stickers because I realized I should really be utilizing that more. And I know a lot of people really hate it. Um, Hello, cat. I know a lot of people really hate that there are reels on Instagram now, but you really need to utilize all of the tools that you have available to you to help market your business. So I really should stop fighting the fact that reels are so popular on Instagram and just go with it. Plus they're really fun to make. I mean, I don't really like having to put in the extra effort because I'm kind of lazy, but 
having it done at the end is so rewarding and just like that ASMR. Mm. Hello, Shrumpling. Do you wanna do you wanna hang out while I'm waiting for these? So I've talked a lot about how dark it is in the winter here and the sun never gets that high in the winter so if you see where the sun is right now it's around 11 20 right now the sun is not going to get any higher than that so it's going to basically go across the sky and go back down I think around four and I live in the south of Sweden in the north of Sweden there's some places that just don't even get sun in like the deep deep winter Ooh. So cutting them took a while, so I decided to make a little sticker for my mail. I think I'm going to order these. Um, still trying to finalize the colors, but I think it's going to look pretty cool when it's done. Oh man, the living room is such a mess. It's actually taking so long to cut all of these stickers. I wanted to do two sticker sheets for the Patreon rewards this month, but they're taking so long to do. I was like, oh, I'm gonna just, you know, get the Patreon awards done and made this morning, but I just didn't anticipate how long it would take for the Cricut to actually cut all of these. So yeah, I'm not sure I'm gonna do two sticker sheets ever again because it's just taking so long. gosh that took me like the entire morning and early afternoon to cut all these it took ages but pretty happy with how they look I really do like this guy though this uh can you see him this little pigeon with the cupcake or Robin with a cupcake I think I might make it into a big sticker later on but these two sticker sheets Burb Planner stickers will be the Patreon uh, Patreon rewards this month. So the stickers ended up taking so long to cut today and then I was kind of feeling just exhausted by the end of it and just went into straight editing for the video. Uh, so I didn't do any polymer clay stuff at all like I said I was going to. Which is a little sad because I had been looking forward to it all week. But that means that tomorrow I'll have the whole day to film that and I think I'm going to make that into a tutorial as well. So there will be a polymer clay pin tutorial coming soon. So anyway, that's the wrap up for this vlog. I hope you liked it. Thank you as always for joining. Uh, I feel like a telemarketer when I say stuff like that. I just wanna say thanks and I will see you next week. Oh.